Welcome to my channel, Keeping Up with Kia P. I am your girl, Kia P, aka Kia the Crafter. What up, my crafty people? How are we doing? I'm so glad that you are here today because today, what we have today is an unboxing of a label printer, which is called the Fomimo. I think that's how you say it, Fomimo. I think that's how you pronounce it. But nevertheless, we have one. Yay. So we're going to do an unboxing and a review to see how this works. Now, I bought this for um, a project that I'm working on far as um, something completely different than resin art. Um, and I bought it to do my labels for the bottles. And so, if you are an entrepreneur or if you need something that makes nice labels, even for your resin art, hopefully this will be the little gadget that will help you do that. Um, so, I'm going to do a quick review on it. We're going to hook it up, see how to do, and yeah, let's get it popping. Thank you for being here, but before, look, look, before we do it. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Go ahead and hit the subscribe button. Give me a couple thumbs up. Yes, thumbs up. And um, yeah, so that the, I can grow this channel and we can like make it do what it do. So with that being said, let's go ahead and start with the unboxing. I'm going to take you down. Give me one second. Okay, so we have the Fomimo here. This is the M200 or m O2 and it comes in this little box it's real small so we gonna unbox it see what it looks like um I like the box how it opens up enjoy printing it's printed right there on it then it opens that way right so it comes with this little cute colorful little uh piece of uh, marketing tool it's really cute kind of slide it off like that it's cute this is this is cute I like that this is the label printer instructions I want to say show you what it is and then we have the label printer itself take this out of the box and I bought, I chose the pink color. I think they come in black, pink, and white. So I chose the pink color because I'm a pink girl. If it would have been teal, and then this is an activate your warranty. So you get to activate your warranty card. So that's neat. And a USB cord. So that is what comes in the box. We're going to set that to the side. And take it out of the plastic. Comes in this little plastic, little envelope type deal. Slide it out. This is super small and cute. And yeah. So I'm going through it with you. My first time. We're gonna see what this what this little joker does. Um, I ordered these um, stickers this is really what made me buy it is because I wanted these labels for my project and it's like a clear transparent uh, label with a border and I for what I'm trying to do this was perfect and so I was like go ahead and get the printer I have bought another one and it just didn't work the way that I wanted it to it I was able to do a couple labels on that for um, my other um, pro products, but it just didn't work for this particular thing that I wanted for my bottles. And so, yeah. So I'm going to go ahead and plug that up. I know that pretty much does that. 
and let me go through the instructions and I'll be back in one moment give me a second all right so just quickly this is the USB on the side you have your power button and your feed button here in the front you have a screen display right here so this is your power button and your feed button this is your open button so it opens up the um the feeder where you would store and load all of your paper i believe that this is adjustable somehow you can adjust this up to three feet i mean three inches long um but i'm gonna figure out a way of how you adjust it i guess you would take oh yeah take this out and then some type of way you would adjust this out say push up or turn but it's a way that you would adjust this out to three feet i mean three inches and it prints um three inches wide so we're gonna get this started and see what it do okay so when you pop this open it comes with a little sample roll that is in here so and it is simply just um un taking the tape off and then rolling it up and placing the top down like so and then pulling the paper paper through okay. so pull it through pull it up and tear that off and then I guess it'll be ready to get started okay this um, printer is Bluetooth so it Bluetooths to your phone so you can print from your phone or you can Bluetooth it to your laptop or tablet, which I've done. But you have to go to their website, FOMIMO.com and go to Downloads and then download the driver for the Windows 7, 8, and 10. And so that's what I'm doing now. I'm downloading the driver so that I can uh, create my stickers or labels and um, go from there okay so sit tight okay guys now that everything has downloaded it took a minute for the download so that was a little bit difficult um, because my um, protective spare uh, software on my computer was kept denying it access to download i had to bypass it so i don't know if you're going to have that issue and then once i got the download on and it downloaded it began to run kind of slow so every time i click into the um the hard drive for it it's going to ask you is it okay ask you permission um is it okay for it to make changes go ahead and say yes so that it can download the software into the hard drive so you're able to make your stickers or your labels or whatever and so I just kind of went through everything it's a little slow that's one thing on my tablet it runs a little slow that's one thing but um, it prints pretty pretty decent um, labels it gives you um, and then I'm gonna see if I can bring you in closer so that you can see the computer a little bit I know it's not I can't mirror the screen or put it in there for you but it gives you some menus of um, different choices default default templates address labels uh, transparent labels solid color labels creative borders if you want a creative borders round labels name labels cable labels uh, square labels and jewelry labels so those are all the templates that are there and so I have square labels that came with the machine a little sample label sheet and then I click on that and then a bunch of square labels come up and I'm able to choose according to the size they go by millimeters so 
you I, I had to get my phone and actually met in my little tape measure which I keep on my desk to measure um one of the labels that was in there to to break it down to millimeters this was a uh, one inch by I mean one and a half inch by one inch and so I just went to my phone put it put that in and it calculated pretty much 38 um, inches by uh, what 30 so I will look for that size label here look for that size label which 38 I will do what could go to a 40 maybe do a 40 30 label it moves a little bit slow that's the only thing so far that I don't like about it is that this it moves slow um far as it just depends I guess on you know what's going on but you should be able to like scroll up and down which is is getting it now and here's the label that I have is not a transparent label so they have them for transparent labels or white labels which I have a white label and I saw it in here earlier because I came in to try and um here it is and it's still saying transparent so I probably didn't see that um the first time but that is the correct size I chose a 30 by a 40 by 30 and it's right here there it is and so that comes up the label size comes up and you have all these different text boxes that you can either use or put whatever you want in there and so what i did was i had created a label already so i'm gonna go and see if it'll pull up maybe a save file i don't know open i say okay oh save files or not uh no and then this is the uh, one that i had made for this one and it's really simple from that point once everything get uploaded um and you can you know get everything moved it's pretty simple uh and it connects to the printer so i'm gonna show you once you get that going there's the little printer let me put it in view so you guys can see it. Okay, there we go. Once you have everything um, aligned to what you want, you just hit print on the computer right there in the corner. It's going to come up. It gives you an option of print base if you want it light, dark, thick, medium, whatever. I'm going to put thicker. And then my print base is um, the print speed. I'm going to put base um real simple nothing fast and then i'm gonna hit print and then there's my sticker and and these are like so <laughs> they super cute and neat and clean i like that so um these will be good for like ingredients or stuff like that but and i can rub my finger over it and it don't move or go anywhere and this is so it don't even look like most thermal printers. You can tell it's a thermal printer. But this one, this is really nice. The paper is nice. So um, I'm going to give this 100% thumbs up so far because I really like the way it prints. I like um, the letters on here. I like what you can do with it. Like I literally made this label in less than a minute. And then I was able to use any of my... Um, yeah, I know y'all like lickables. Yes, they are. Um, any of the fonts that I've downloaded for other projects, like with my Cricut Joy, I can down use those fonts because this is a font that I've downloaded. So I really, really, so far, I'm gonna give it a thumbs, a thumbs up. I'm gonna give it four stars, and I would give it five, but the download process for the computer is like it takes a while. It runs a little slow, and for that, I'm going to take away a star um, so far. Other than that, I like it. It's small. It's, I mean, it's really small. And for a small desk or a small area to save space, it is super, like, I like it. So far, it's, so, it's neat. It's really clean. It's really neat. 
and um, it, I'm gonna give it a thumbs up I really like how it prints that looks like a that looks like a real printer that looks like a real printer um, printed that like I printed that from an inkjoy I mean an inkjet printer or laser I mean that is really neat and clean looking and I like that it only prints in black so that's fine but but you can get transparent paper um, which I have some of that and um yeah let, let's see what that do let's see what that do hold tight okay so we gonna change this paper out and put in the paper that I bought that made me and you just take the roll out this you just pull it off take this roll off and then we're gonna put on this row here now these come with like this little black deal so so I'm gonna put these on I'm going to put our um, mechanism back on here and it only goes on a certain way so hold on let me make sure I got it lined up right I'm trying to keep it on camera and do it right at the same time but it's like a certain way you have to kind of line it up okay there we go and push it in up against the uh, paper stick it back in there which is pretty simple stick it back in there I'm gonna try to roll it roll it up roll it up and that gives us that one now um i just want to print one let's see what it look like if it lines up right with this paper it might be off yep so i have to come in and go to a but that's gonna be dope go to a different sticker so what i'm gonna do is go to new open new and then I'm going to go to, um, this is a round label, I guess. This will be considered a round label. And I need to measure it. So I have one already out. And I'm going to measure it. And it's two, two, so one and a half is 30. It's, it's close to 40, so two will probably be... 50 by 50 yeah 50 by 50 we'll do 50 by 50 round sticker and then we'll do file open go to the picture that I want from my oh okay 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 so we will have to we will have to save changes no we will have to start all over hold on one 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 second let me get this right all right so i didn't want you to have to sit through watching me figure out how to um to remake this sticker all over again but we um again went through here and made the sticker and now i'm gonna just hit print it was pretty simple i just didn't know i had to remake it because when i saved it it saved it with not the artwork but it saved it with that sticker size that i did in the square and so I had to kind of remake it for this um, round sticker that I'm getting ready to print. 
And so this, guys, I am totally in love with this little printer. I'm going to print this sticker and I'm going to tell you why. OMG. Y'all. This is everything. That looks so clean and so adorable. I don't have to do any I mean this this yeah this this is a game changer. This this is a game changer. So all I have to do is put this on my bottles and it's good to go. It's good to go. And then I can do another one for the back with the ingredients and we are 100% good to like this is this is everything. And I think this roller stickers cost me about, I want to say $9, maybe $9 to $10 for this roll. I think it comes with a total of 144 stickers, um, which is a nice amount. You can break it up and do half of the front, half of the back. But this is this is um, really cute. You're going to have a few where you're going to have to do some test runs, but this came out gorgeous so i'm gonna give this a hundred percent uh again other than the software being a little slow far as the way it moves and it could be my connection but i'm gonna give it 4.5 stars i'm gonna even up it because this just this this just kind of gave me that 0.5 so the uh fomimo m200 pro Thermal printer is 4.5 on the Richter scale for me. Um, if you are an entrepreneur and you need a label maker, this is your go-to. Um, it was on sale this week. So I'm going to try to post this right now. It was on sale this week, so you can get it for, I want to say, under 100 bucks. I know I pay under 100 bucks for this. You can get it for under a hundred, under a hundred dollars, and they are working on um, paper and different technologies. But I think this is so super cute. They have different types of paper that you can order to have um, different types of circles and borders and stuff. But this is the one that I chose. I think this is so cute for what I'm trying to do. It's whimsical. It's cute. Um, it looks professional. It looks really nice. And yes. We will be having our edible lickables available real soon. So with that being said, guys, make sure you hit subscribe if you like the content. And this is a, a, a go for you guys or helped you kind of make any type of decision. Give me some. Where we at? Thumbs up. Uh, 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 thumbs. Thumbs up. Right. And uh, go ahead and subscribe to my channel and help me grow. And we'll grow together. Um, again, thank you all for watching. I appreciate it. I hope this helps somebody, but yeah, this is a game changer. Um, definitely good for stickers. If you are creating resin art and you want to put your artwork or your label on there, you can use this to make labels and put them, put stickers on your, um, artwork. They come with transparent paper, little bitty stickers like this small. You can you can do large stickers up to three inches long. So as wide as this mouth is, they print stickers. And it's also print pictures, black and white. So it also print pictures. If you want to, you know, print some black and whites, you can also print pictures on this printer as well. It provide, And it also has paper. And the one thing I like about it, that it provides templates for you and for the paper. Like it's a it's a win-win. It's not hard. I have purchased another thermal printer, which did not give me a lot of options as far as templates and things to use. This gave me templates to use once I download downloaded the software. It also Bluetooths to your phone, which the other printer was like 130. It did not Bluetooth at all. It was USB. So this is a win. This is a game changer. I like it. I think it's a go. So... With that being said, have a good day. Hope everyone enjoyed the video and come see me again.